The password is dead. Up is now down, and you're never gonna use a password again. Okay, that, that might have been a bit of an exaggeration, but let me explain. We all have passwords, right? Right? They've literally been the cornerstone of security for at least as long as we've had computers. Today, quite literally every single account that you have has one, right? That said, they are not perfect in terms of security. We talk all the time on this channel about the things that you need to do to layer security on top of just a password. Things like multi-factor authentication and permissions pruning and things like that. Those are things that you can do if you're an admin or just a general end user to basically make sure that your password isn't the only line of security because we all know and understand that passwords are very imperfect in terms of security. For instance, let's talk about what you need to have a good password. And again, we've talked about this before in other videos, but just for review, you need a password that is long, something like 25 to 30 characters long. It's got everything from uppercase and lowercase letters, special characters, numbers, Numbers. It's long, it's complex, it's crazy. And yet a lot of sites don't really require much of those as long as it meets their eight character limit, which is woefully insecure. But those long and complex passwords are a lot to remember, especially if you're not working in the cybersecurity space where maybe you have some tools at your disposal for free and you are a general lover of technology in general. While a password manager seems somewhat basic and trivial to us cybersecurity folks and people that generally consider themselves to be technical to your average non-technical user, something like a password manager can be fairly revolutionary in terms of security. And even then, they may not even use the password manager effectively, and so they'll still have a lot of gaps in their security profile just based on their passwords. This leads to all kinds of problems, whether in your personal accounts or your corporate accounts, where accounts are getting hacked because the passwords themselves are vulnerable. And this leads to everything from ransomware outbreaks to people's personal information getting stolen, people people's money getting stolen, and even people's personal computers being weaponized against them. Well, what if I told you that we're just gonna ditch passwords? No more passwords, they're, they're clearly too vulnerable to attack, we're just gonna not do passwords anymore. No, really, I'm, I'm dead serious, we can do that. And in fact, what if I told you that companies like Apple, Google, and Microsoft all agree and are gonna try to implement that theory by the end of 2022? Well, believe it or not, in a joint effort, those three tech giants, again, Apple, Google, and Microsoft are all joining forces to implement what's called FIDO authentication technology. This will theoretically eliminate the vulnerabilities of passwords and instead replace them with a much more secure and much quicker alternative. So let's slow down what exactly is FIDO authentication. Basically from a day-to-day -day end user perspective, you're basically just using your phone to authenticate in instead of remembering a password. But more specifically, FIDO is a system using public-private key cryptography where whenever a user registers a device to an account, they get both a public and a private key. The public key goes to the service and they maintain themselves the private key. The user then creates different key pairs for different accounts they're using and on a per device basis. So let's say whenever I'm logging into a website on my desktop, I can log in on my browser and it will prompt me for the login. Instead of using my password, my phone will get a push notification and I will basically provide it with a proper key pair to log in. Or say I'm logging logging in using my phone, my computer will get a push notification, basically the same thing. I provide the proper key pair, it authenticates that I am in fact me, and then I'm able to log in from there. Basically speaking, you're not using something that you know being your password to authenticate, it is something that you have being the private key to authenticate into things. So instead of attackers having to find out your password to be able to break your account, they would have to take your private key, which is a much harder proposition. And this all gets done much faster and is much easier to the end user, again in theory, than a password is. Here's a cool part, because we're talking about Apple, Google, and Microsoft, this will work whether you're logging in through your device or you're logging in through a web browser. This will work for Google Chrome, Safari, or Microsoft Edge, and it'll even be cross-platform. But even that said, if these tech giants are able to implement this and it really takes off and users choose to use it, then other platforms that aren't included in this list, like Firefox, may also follow suit if they have haven't already. But this is also cross-platform for the devices as well. So let's say you're trying to log into your YouTube account using your Google credentials to like this video through Microsoft Edge on your iPhone. You can do that. Although why would you want to use Edge? Use Chrome. What are we doing? They're all expected to get this capability rolled out by the end of 2022, which is cool, right? So will passwords be a thing of the past? Can we officially declare passwords dead? Well, while the security impact would be immense, 
sense. It ultimately hinges on organizations themselves and the user base to implement this technology for themselves. That's also not to say that attackers won't find their own ways to circumvent the security of this practice either. As you've seen historically, cybersecurity is a giant game of cat and mouse where defense creates a new technology, offense innovates, defense innovates themselves, and then red team innovates themselves. And so the cycle continues until we all end up in a giant black hole. In the meantime, we're probably going to be using passwords well into the future either way. Because again, it's up to the organizations to implement the technology. It's up to the user base to implement it for themselves. So we're probably going to have at least a handful of accounts that are still using passwords in some way, shape, or form. But if we're able to get to a point in the future where we're no longer using passwords and we're using something more secure like public-private key cryptography to be able to authenticate, I think that that would create a bit more of a secure future. But again, time will tell. For all I know, some technology like quantum computing will come out and blow this all out of the wall. Water, anyway but if you still use passwords there are some huge mistakes that you should be aware of and if you don't implement the fixes for those mistakes then you'll end up likely with an egg on your face so check out this video to find out what those mistakes are and also be sure to like this video if this was helpful for you and also so YouTube can recommend this video to new audiences and more people can be aware about the benefits of cybersecurity so with all that I will see you all next time bye